So, how much does it cost when it comes to outsourcing? This is always a very relative question, right? Because there's a lot of factors that contribute to cost. Uh, on top of um, salaries and wages of the actual employees or customer service agents that will provide the service for you, there's other aspects. What's, what is the, the, the service scope of the outsourcing party? Is it just they provide the staff and you manage everything yourself? Or is it they provide the staff, including the support, including managing the performance of the program? So that's the latter thing that I mentioned is more of an end-to-end -end outsourcing uh, of your customer service. So th there are a lot of differences. Of course, uh, staff is a different factor. The country of where you want to outsource is, will also play a, a significant role. Uh, naturally, if you were to balance everything, near shore outsourcing countries such as Canada or Mexico would cost more. Um, uh, offshore outsourcing companies were more uh, countries. Uh, the Philippines uh, is kind of like similar to that of India. Uh, I think I would think that Philippines is a bit more uh, expensive. There is the facilities. If you outsource to bigger call centers as opposed to smaller call centers, bigger call centers tend to cost a lot more. Naturally, they also have limit. Uh, they also have limitations in servicing normally the very big uh, uh, Fortune 500 or Fortune 1000 companies. They usually also have a limit in terms of the minimum size that they can deploy a team. Uh, normally, if it's a big call center uh, outsourcing part, uh, partner, uh, usually it's 50 FTEs or 100 FTEs where they focus on. Uh, for smaller players, it's a lot uh, It's a lot more cost effective and of course they can start at smaller scale uh, and they're a lot more flexible. So there's advantages and disadvantages. Of course, you have to also consider what you need on a telecommunications aspect, right? So, uh, is there a voice component or is it all uh, data like you know email, chat support? So, if it's voice, you have to take into consideration the termination and origination of uh, voice calls because uh, you have to use VoIP services for that one, and there's uh, cost uh, cost implicated to that as well. Um, naturally, the uh, you know even in the Philippines, if you were to outsource to the Philippines, there's a difference between outsourcing. Uh, in Metro Manila, which is the capital of the Philippines, as opposed to outsourcing uh, in an off with a uh, offshore call center that's based in the provincial area of the Philippines, right? So there, there's cost differences there. You have, you have to weigh things based on what is accept what is uh, better for you. If you want to learn more about customer service outsourcing, I want you to click the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.